The first Minecraft version only had two blocks, and the most recent has over 1400 items. From cave game to trails and tales, this is the 14 year evolution. In 2009, Notch was inspired by the game Infiniminers, so he sat on a computer and boom, he made cave game. The first version of Minecraft was pretty bare bones with only two blocks, dirt and cobblestone. However, the game was not public yet. Before publishing the game, Notch added a few more blocks and these jumping steves. Before Minecraft's official release, the game went through some stages of development. The classic and pre-classic were quite rough. They introduced terrain, multiplayer, water and lava, trees and alec. In-dev and in-dev laid the basic foundations of the game, like crafting and survival. It made water and lava not chaotic and the world is bigger. I mean four times bigger than real earth. Four world types and hell mod was also added, but they were also removed. Beast Boy and some other characters were introduced, but they were removed two days later. And the best addition of all, diamonds. Alpha and Beta were the last stages before the official release, in which we got hell for real this time. These big pyramids, mobs, and a ton of blocks. This is the Minecraft official release, aka 1.0. This was the biggest update the game has ever seen at that time of course. It introduced hardcore mode, enchanting, sprinting, ring, hunger, villages, stronghold, ender dragon, fortress, and much, much more. This is the point where the updates start. 1.1 added eggs, eggs, eggs. And even more eggs. 1.2 added jungles and big guys. And 1.3 added villager trading. 1.4 was pretty scary update. I'm not kidding, this was the actual name. Because of Wither, Zillager, Mobhead, and these cute baby zombies. Uh. I'm more afraid of you than Ender Dragon. 1.5. Redstone was not already complicated enough. Yet Notch made it even more complicated. Like, what is this? 1.6. Notch was like. We need horse, so he added variety of horses, zombie horse, skeleton horse, mule, and donkey. 1.7 It added stairs and slabs, but it's still bigger than 1.1. 1.8 added monuments, guardians, and elder guardians. Elder guardians are supposed to be the boss of the ocean. This was a point when Microsoft bought Mojang, and Microsoft didn't know how to make updates, so 1.9 was a total disaster. Before in PvP, you will just spam hit to get combos. But now they added delays, which made the entire community mad. So people started leaving Minecraft. It led to the downfall of Minecraft. 1.12 added concrete powder, concrete, glazed terracotta, and colorful bed. 1.13 was the first good update by Microsoft. It changed the ocean world forever. It added dolphins, tridents, conduit, shipwrecks, ruins, icebergs, coral, turtles, and a ton of other stuff. And we also got phantoms. 1.14 added raids, villagers, and most importantly, better textures. My eyes are so graceful now. 1.15 was again a tiny update. It added bees, beehives, bee nest, honey blocks, and honey bottles. This is the moderate update era, because from now on, the updates have significantly changed. Like 1.16, it changed the nether world completely, like generation, structures, mobs, trading, and five different biomes. 1.17 and 1.18 were both caves and cliffs update because Mojang was so lazy that it made one update into two parts. In part one, we got goats, geodes, axolotls, and deep slate ores. That is a bit too less. We were also supposed to get bundles, but Mojang keeps delaying them. And in 1.18, we got one music disc and a tiny change in world generation. I mean, world is taller, mountains are bigger and massive caves. 1.19 added warden, ancient cities, and frog. And finally, 1.20. It added bamboo wood, sniffer, camel, cherry blossom, archaeology, and armor trims. I told all of the updates quite brief, so if you want to know any update in detail, link to our wiki page is in the description. Subscribe!